They had an excellent outing on Saturday, holding Bournemouth to a 1-1 draw in Santa Barbara. Rob McElhenney was there to see it, and of course, he's here as well tonight. Uh, we'll be talking to him at half Pretty much ready for action here. First game of this preseason for Chelsea, but it's going to be a lot of pressure on Reska to be able to get it right straight away. Oof, a flare up straight away between season when Chelsea is James taking and may have caught the outside of the post trying to catch a Conquo cheating a little. Yeah, Conquo was always going to try to see if he could just make sure that he had the outside of the post covered, but the wall wasn't lined up as well as he would like. The possession game as uh, Bolton makes inroads. Good cross, too. First corner delivered and flicked on. Reese James arriving. It was James who delivered the uh, the corner kick. And Guillou uh, and Casey, uh, those joining uh, a little late on ESPN, haven't missed too much yet, have they? As Guillou, one of the news. Post corner, still up for grabs. And referee uh, Timothy Ford, I think, uh, signaling handball. Kunku, who played so little last year. Good run by Madueke. And that will result in another Chelsea corner. But one of the big differences when you move up the leagues is the pace. We need to see if he can continue this great run. Oh, a Conquo charged down by Guillou. You saw that back pass coming. It was uh, executive promotions, and now he's heading into a league where he has an awful lot of experience and success. And this free kick for Chelsea. Madueke with it. Oh, and it just... Now then. The turnover, Madueke into a promising spot, but he turned into trouble. And that allowed Dobson to intervene. Yeah, really great recovery from Dobson, but Madueke really should have done better. Should have. Brunt, who was in League Two, but playing again. Corner near post, unmarked. Oh. Paddy Ashiel couldn't get a, a clean hit on it. And Madueke. As the Rexham piece again that is so difficult to defend. Leaves Revan in his wake. A fair one now. Tyreek George. Yeah, it's just over intricate at times. Work from Brunt to keep Rexham on the front foot. Revan trying to uh, work his way around Reese James. Again, a good looking service. They've, those crosses from the left have been threatening, Casey. But... Yeah, they have. And a couple times off of set pieces. and. On side, flag stays down for now. James McLean. Well, why not? Yeah, why not? Didn't really have any help. Sanchez was in two minds, and I'm a big fan of if you're not quite sure, go back on your line and and retreat. Aguirre, one of the new arrivals, has looked impressive. The 18-year-old making more mischief, sizing it up, and then taking the shot. Eventually, still might break their way, and it does eventually for Christopher Nkunku. Who's on target in the USA again? Last summer proved to be so agonizing for Nkunku, as did most of the season that followed. He's looking to start again. It's a pretty good way to start here in Santa Clara. People talk sometimes why do you hit shots from distance? Why do you put balls into areas when you're, when maybe your odds of scoring yourself aren't great? Well, here's a prime example. In, in dollars, an investment in the future for Chelsea, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he can really catch Enzo Moresca's eye and play a part right from the start. He looks... Mark Guillou, the young Spaniard, teeing it up for Nkunku, but Wrexham able to recover. The red shirt swarming in the box. I think Guillou is impressed extremely. Now it's Enzo Moresca's task as we look at Madueke again. A field day on that right hand side. He is until the final product. Some, some rust, particularly in that first half. There's George. I thought it was, a, you know, as expected, a little bit scrappy to start with. It's Palmer. Gives him something. Does that cross get to deflection and swell? Changing goal as well. Chelsea. Long ball over the top, which team is less changes. I think with only the one, and I think Will Boyle came in. It is. 
Sterling, Chuck will make it. Well, it was there for him, disappointed that he couldn't keep his effort down. Ryan Sterling just causing problems. Pickpocketing work from Sterling. And a Sterling save from a Conquo, using his feet. And the attack is not dead yet by any means. Sterling keeping it alive. And he's looked good. Oh, it's a good service. Palmer missed it. All the way through for the equaliser. And to the delight of uh, a lot of the crowd here. The Dragons have breathed some fire and have equalised in Santa Clara. Full credit to them. Good work down the left. Ravan involved. Yeah, it's just a... a, a when possession's taken over in midfield, we talked about waiting for those opportunities. Ravan does a good job after the turnover. Changes were made on their half. They found an equalizer and have created two or three other little half chances. In a lot of space here. All of a sudden, they're threatening again. And McLean's ball didn't find a willing taker. You can do more of keeping this type of possession, winning second, third balls, combining in midfield. But then again, we saw once again McLean. That's nicely done by Wrexham. And they're on the way again. Jack Marriott on his left foot. Oh, it's a great finish. How about that? Well, this story just keeps becoming more and more unbelievable. Welcome to Santa Clara. Well, this is showing Enzo Maresca that maybe his squad isn't as strong as he thinks it is. You know, making these kind of changes, getting sloppy and then getting punished for it twice now in the second half. And, you know, this starts off okay. But then coming inside, Good challenge for Marriott, who started it. Then the giveaway, but the shapes. A different story, but as that corner comes in. I mean, the English press is really fun. Oh, they're going to have a fit. Yeah. That is. But Chelsea's shape has been horrible since they made the substitution. And Wrexham had punished them. Now, I'm looking for a response, as I'm sure the management is as well. And again, two or three. Jenkins way inside. Disappointing end product from Malo Gusto. Yeah, it wasn't even close. Yeah. Here again with Dolby, near post! Oh, they got the shot away! Good save by Bergstrom, needed to be. But Achenpong, again, left everybody onside, just not in connection with the back line. And oh, keeping it low. And the shot, the side foot, the equaliser. Ugo Chukwu. As Chelsea get back on level terms. But what did we talk about, Adrian? We talked about... One thing Wrexham couldn't allow is second and third chances from Chelsea. And two or three opportunities Wrexham had to clear their lines. They didn't do it. And the sustained pressure finally gave way. And as it opened up, it was just a simple pass into the back of the net.